We finally get an unobstructed view of the Model 3 cockpit, Australian charging gets a jolt, the Silky Autopilot update is rolling out, and more. Here are your Tesla tidbits for June 12, 2017. In a super late-breaking story from Electrek, we finally get a clear, unobstructed look at the Model 3 cockpit, giving us the best-ever look at the steering wheel and screen in the car. The steering wheel is near identical to the Model S and Model X, but while the wheel retains its scroll wheels, what is missing is the audio controls on the left of the wheel and the voice command and menu button from the right side. Another big change is there's no autopilot stock on the left side. Instead, this function appears to be handled by the gear stock, as the steering wheel icon sits below D on the stock. It will be curious to see how we set speed here. Onto the screen, as was posited before, the left of the screen appears to be the car status portion of the screen performed by the binnacle on Model S and Model X. Displayed at the top, at least in park, is a prominent P to let you know this. The state of charge can be found here as well. It also looks as though the screen is currently showing the tire pressure display. I'd wager this can be adjusted with the left scroll wheel. On the right, the car is currently showing the diagnostic screen for the engineer using the car. The climate controls we're used to are displayed along the bottom as with other Tesla vehicles. It'll be super interesting to see how the adjustability works on the smaller screen, especially with it being tasked with displaying relevant information for operating the car. It almost seems as though the left third has been earmarked strictly for driver information, while we get the remaining two-thirds for the app we wish to have active. Seems we have about a month and a half or less to get some concrete answers here. We stick with Electrek for some news for our friends in Australia that makes Tesla all the more enticing. First up was a significant expansion of the destination charging network in the country. Stockland announced that it would install destination chargers at 31 of its shopping centers in the country. John Schroeder, Stockland Group Executive and CEO of Commercial Property, said, quote, We know EV vehicles are part of the future, and we look forward to offering more features like this to meet continuing Australian demand, end quote. But that wasn't all. Another significant announcement was that AGL Energy customers can get a year's worth of free charging for their Teslas. Tesla said, quote, To be eligible for Tesla to arrange for a year of free vehicle charging with AGL, should the customer choose to connect their electricity with AGL, the customer must purchase their Tesla vehicle prior to the 31st of July and take up the AGL electric car plan before the 31st of August 2017. All existing orders, those who have not taken delivery of their vehicle yet, will also be eligible. End quote. Several reports came in of firmware updates coming in for cars, and it looks like the Silky Smooth Autopilot update for AP2 cars is here. Elon then confirmed the rollout on Twitter, saying, quote, HW2 Autopilot release should go wide next weekend with additional smoothness improvements for longitudinal control, end quote. It seems also that the lane control isn't the only thing coming with the update. Electrek reports that automatic emergency braking now operates at full speed, as well as automatic perpendicular parking and automatic display brightness making their way into the software. Seems now all we're missing is the automatic rain-sensing wipers if my mental inventory of autopilot features is correct. Keep up the great work, autopilot team. It seems that a long-promised feature of superchargers may finally be getting some attention if an Elon tweet can be believed. Another tweet from Elon came today after being challenged regarding the long-since-debunked long tailpipe argument with EVs. I'm very surprised he actually responded, as in my book, the guy was clearly trolling. Either way, we got this response, quote, All superchargers are being converted to solar battery power. Over time, almost all will disconnect from the electricity grid, end quote. Now, normally, I'm not one to doubt Elon. However, this was promised from the very announcement of the network, and I'm specifically unaware of any that actually utilize solar. Fred Lambert of Electrek even got him to respond to the same question on Christmas Eve last year and was promised that the pieces were in place to do it, and yet, here we are six months later. I'm near certain that some exist, but let's just say they're in the vast minority. Hopefully, Elon makes good on his word, and we have yet another way to shut down the EV haters. Finally tonight, some personal news and show promotion. If you don't follow me on Twitter, this will be news for you, but it's becoming more and more apparent that I'm going to cancel my Model 3 reservation. No, this isn't because I've realized that dead dinosaurs powering cars are the future. It's because I put down a deposit on a car from Tesla's used inventory. It's a 2015 Model S 85D in gorgeous, gorgeous multi-coat red. The 24-hour test drive was the straw that both broke the camel's back for me, so let me reiterate to all of you out there, if you don't want to buy a car, don't test drive them. You will find a way to own one. I'm super stoked, and I hope to take delivery before the month is out. 
I do also hope to do a special tidbits from the road when I take delivery. Pending clearing recording from the delivery folks, I'll have video of the whole experience. I'm known for my mostly brief content, but this one, it could take more than a few minutes. On the show front, I finally got around to reviewing the Eco Green Auto Clean product that Tesla had been considering as a service at Superchargers. I hope you enjoy the short eight minutes of content. You can find the links to today's full stories in the show description. This show operates on a value for value model. If you get some value out of what I do each day, please consider supporting me at patreon.com slash Tesla tidbits. Thanks so much to my super patrons, John Walltower, Drew Schuyler, John Waller, Mark and Sarah Thomas, and Ryan Scarborough for supporting the show at the $10 plus level. Of course, as always, if you have nothing extra to spare, no worries. Please show your love with positive feedback and subscriptions on YouTube, Apple podcasts, and other services across the internet. Lastly, if you're in the market for a Tesla, you can get yourself a thousand bucks off and free supercharging for your vehicle if you use super patron Drew Schuyler's referral link at ts.la slash Andrew 1233. That's it for today. If you have feedback for me, the best way to be heard is to tweet at Tesla Tidbits. I'll see you back here again tomorrow. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.